and still pitch black outside. It's ridiculous. Monday morning everybody, it is Vlogmas Day 11 and it is also still pitch black outside and we have to go to the shop, so fun. It's 20 to 8. Actually it's more like quarter to 8 now. And it's pitch black. We're going to Tesco's in the pitch black. Good morning everybody. So it is half eight in the morning and I am freezing. My hands are frozen. It is still dark outside and it is so cold. I think it's starting to snow but it's so rainy that the snow isn't really visible but it's, but you can feel the ice hitting your face. So I'm just about to make, I've just bought a pasty. Not exactly breakfast food, but I'm going to heat it up so I can get something warm inside me, make myself a cup of tea and a hot water bottle, and lay under many, many air blankets. Bunny, what are you doing? What you want? What you want? What you want? What? What you want? What you want? What do you want? What do you want? You want to play a game? You want to play? What this? You want this? Yeah, so it is now Monday afternoon. I have spent some time snuggling and playing with the doggy who is waiting for me to throw this for her. She's kind of crazy. So I'm about to have some soup and some tea and watch some YouTube on the telly. I am excited to see Donna Wayne's drama class again. I've really loved being a part of it with her and watching her um, actually act for the first time, which is crazy. Like I've seen her do stage performances, but it was more musical theatre. Um, whereas this time she's rehearsing lines and emotion and using her brain to sort of you know, come up with scenarios, and it, oh, I just love it, I can't wait to see her. Um, I'm sorry that the vlogs over the weekend have been a bit small, I hope that you've enjoyed seeing it regardless, obviously at the weekends we don't do as much stuff, because it's our time to rest, and unfortunately, Dawn Louise breaks up the Friday before Christmas, so that also means that the weekend before Christmas we're going to be pretty chill. So we might carry on daily vlogging until the end of December, if anyone would like us to do that. Obviously it wouldn't be vlogmas, it would just be a daily vlog till the end of the month maybe. Um, or it, like while she's off, just, you know, if we, if we do something, I don't know. Because the problem is, it's getting so cold now that we can't really go out and do things. So it does mean that these aren't as entertaining. I really did want to take out ice skating for the first time ever. Um, but I just don't think we're going to be able to do it now. I think it's getting too cold, which is a real, real shame. Soup and tea, gonna get some inside of me. <laughs> you, you alright? You alright there? You alright there? <laughs> I love you. And, oh, okay, bye then. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? <gasps> Don't you touch my soup. It's not <laughs> the best sound you will ever hear. I love her pity patty pores. I love her. Hi, baby. I love it. Ready? You ready for it again? <laughs> oh, I love that sound so much. Are you trying to get me to give you soup? You can't have the soup. Stop staring at me. I love you. Yeah, that's right. You look away. Yeah, I caught you, didn't I? You trying to eat my soup? You trying to get me to let you eat my soup? So it is now the afternoon and I've picked Dawn Louise up from school and unfortunately we've had to come straight home instead of going to her drama class. It's just too cold for her. Her cheeks, lips, hands, they're all blue and she's still cold. And uh, we just got her sat in front of the heating trying to warm up. And uh, I'm just making her a hot chocolate now, so hopefully that will help too, but it really sucks. I hate that she's having to miss out on something that she enjoys just because it's cold. But in all fairness, it is at the moment further away than um, it normally is. The class is in a different place at the moment until after Christmas, and the, uh, the new place isn't heated very well either, so it's definitely the right decision to keep her home from it, but it also really sucks. Um, <laughs> Yeah, not not a happy day today, unfortunately. <sighs> it's days like this, I wish we could just whisk her away to, I don't know, America or something where it's warmer, even if it was just for the couple of weeks that they're off from school, just get her away, get her somewhere warm so she can actually enjoy herself instead of just being stuck indoors all the time. It's just so unfair. 
on her. But we're gonna warm her up and then hopefully play just some Just Dance to sort of get her moving and active still and perk her up a bit, but I just hate it. I really hate it. Like, I was cold, my hands felt really cold, but like, basically when you feel cold, she is like two times that. So you can imagine how cold she actually is when it's three degrees. It's between two and three degrees outside today. <sighs> this is my Makatong song I was learning at drama and I'm gonna sing it to you. Father Christmas, Father Christmas, twinkly light, twinkly light, wearing Christmas jumpers, wearing Christmas jumpers, Christmas tree, Christmas tree. What's Jojo? <gasps> Have you just said Jojo? Huh? Have you just said Jojo? Yeah, do you want to watch Jojo? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> well, what is going on my hair? Oh, okay. Yep, yep. That, that's that's a look. That's what we're going with, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what's going on my hair. Oh, I'm so tired. It is half eight. <laughs> I was honestly expecting it to be like ten o'clock. It's only half eight. Oh my god, I'm so old. Uh, I'm so tired. No, but um. I am getting ready for bed. Thankfully, Donna is okay. She warmed up. We didn't end up playing more in the week because she was quite tired. So we just kind of snuggled up, watched some YouTube, ate dinner, and relaxed, which is why there's no, not much footage. But tomorrow she's got ballet and tap. Wednesday she's got a day off, and we're planning to make Christmas cookies. Nom, nom, nom. And then hopefully take them um, to her nanny's the next day so they can have some too. We haven't had a great day, though. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but um, this morning when we were on the bus, a van pulled out in front of the bus, and the bus driver broke really hard, and this girl's Her stuff just went flying. And like, I grabbed the pole, which was a stupid idea to be honest, because I could have broken my arm or something. But I grabbed the pole and sort of bended my arm, so it was okay. But um, I nearly headbutted the pole in front of me because we were sat right at the front of the bus behind um, the gar, the like metal pole guard things so we're okay but it was still terrifying and having the bus driver turn around and be like is everyone okay i was like i don't know <laughs> but no um we're, we're all okay everyone's okay i think um and then i uh, i saw a post online and i was like text my brother and i was like dude is this your car because it was in the right location and it was the right colour and I don't really look at the outside of his car enough to know if it's actually his car or not and it was only a very small portion of the car in the photo and um, he texted me back this evening and he's saying yes it was and unfortunately somebody did catch them but like not enough to do anything about it but somebody had seen a load of 12 to 14 year old kids about five of them pull out his wing mirrors and they've been smashed off both of his wind mirrors have been literally kicked off, um, which means that the car now can't be used. So my poor brother, he's younger than me by 18 months, but my poor brother, it's freezing cold. He can't drive to work anymore. And sometimes he helps me, because obviously Dawn's very sensitive to the cold, and sometimes he'll drive, drive us down to her after school classes and everything, so that she's not waiting for buses if it's like raining and everything. He can't do that anymore. Not that that's the biggest problem, really. I'm more worried about, you know, where he's got to go, because he's doing interviews and things, and um, he needs his car. Um, and it's right before Christmas. He's only got a part-time job, so I don't even know if he can replace it. Like, I wish I could help him, but I can't. So... Oh, that's not great. Um, so to anyone watching who's young, don't ever hurt somebody else's property because you honestly don't know how hard you're going to make their lives. You really don't. And like, is that really that much fun for you? No. If anything could be learned from this scenario, don't. I was going to say a four-lettered bad word then, but I can't because this is a family channel. 
but don't be bad okay it's not worth it and you've caused a lot of damage it's very costly I'm really mad because he's my little brother and very protective <laughs> and there's nothing I can do to help him and that sucks and it's getting really cold now it's getting icy we saw a very very slight flurry of snow but it was the rain so you couldn't really tell um but it's that cold and he now doesn't have a car which is really annoying really really annoying anyway um dawn always warmed up she's doing okay um i've just been watching some more youtube and playing with lola which i was going to record but every time i got the camera out she ran away from me so i was like i don't think i will because she needs she needs some loves um so yeah tomorrow dawn always has got dance wednesday we're gonna hopefully do some baking after school thursday is her first ever school disco and friday is christmas jump day so that's gonna be fun i think i might see my mum on friday if she doesn't mind if she's not too tired from work because with the late nights and everything it's dark long long dark nights it makes you tired so i wouldn't blame her um but tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm getting most of the Christmas presents because I don't, I'm not getting that much for Christmas this year because um, for Dawn's last birthday, I kind of spoilt her without meaning to. I got her a lot of presents, but they weren't like all expensive or anything like that. But she ended up with like a t very, very tall pile of presents that was a little overboard. It was quite a bit overboard and I don't want her to be spoilt. Um, so she, she's not gonna have loads to open but um one of them is a very big girl's present but i do feel like she's ready for it she understands that she understands that um the kind of thing that i'm gonna get her is not cheap and that not everybody is as fortunate to have the kind of things that she has um so she's gonna have that and then a couple of little presents to go with it so she's not gonna have a lot to open but one of them is gonna be um quite a bit so I feel like that makes sense. Um, yeah, I am excited to do the Christmas shopping tomorrow. What I'm not excited about is getting on the bus in the morning because I lost my gloves on the bus. I went back for them and they weren't on the chair. So I, obviously I didn't want to hold up the bus up because we were the only people getting off. So I got off and checked my bag and I was like, no, damn it, I did leave it on there. Um, <clears throat> so now I've got to get on the bus in the morning without gloves oh and Dawn always dropped her scarf on the way to school this morning because as you saw it was still dark at quarter past eight anyway that is the end of today tomorrow is a new day and things will get better things will get better for everybody because everything does you just got to give it time and positive thinking <laughs> that sounded so cliche but no honestly I've I've spent a lot of time dwelling on the fact that a lot of bad stuff has happened to me over the years I have been through quite a bit to be honest and I won't get into what it is because it doesn't need to be brought up but I have been through a lot in my life and I am only 24 and I've been through quite a lot and a lot of it is things that don't happen to a lot of people um like the percentage isn't very high and yet I seem to always get the unlucky one <laughs> um and that's not a sob story I just think that you know it's taught me a lot more I've been through a lot of bad things, but it's taught me the things that I need to learn to become the person I am today. And I kind of like who I am today. I'm, I, I've changed a lot in the last year and all for the better. And that is something I'm very proud of. And I still have a lot of work to do, but I'll get there. It's a process. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm rambling now. This is what happens when I'm tired. I ramble fast and croaky <laughs> very very croaky i need to drink something anyway i will catch you tomorrow 6 p.m hit the bell come back come back come on come back you come on <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing anymore <laughs> but no seriously if you could hit subscribe and hit the bell and come back tomorrow i'd really appreciate it leave a like so i know you've been or even leave a comment and let's get chatting because i would love to know who watches these and get to know you because that would be nice i'd like that it would be nice um but yeah i will see you tomorrow good night